Ahoy there, matey! We're on the high seas for this sketch. A lot could be lurking in these waters, so let's hope this merchant ship has steady wind and smooth sailing. Take a deep breath, because we're about to chart a course through the lungs. Let these glorious, squall-tested sails represent the lungs. You'll see sails as a recurring symbol for lungs throughout Sketchy, and we made these sails extra large to remind you that the lungs occupy the majority of space in the thorax. Because we always talk about anatomy as though we're looking at the front of the patient, the right lung sail is on the left side of your screen, and the left lung sail is on the right. This will be important as we discuss differences between the left and right lungs. The apex of the lungs extend several inches above the clavicle, just like these sails extend above that top beam, and they reach all the way down to the diaphragm, the thin muscle separating the lungs from the abdominal organs. This means that neck injuries, like a stab wound at the base of the neck, and abdominal injuries have the potential to injure the lungs, along with injuries to the chest, of course. Coast ho, mateys! After months of close quarters, could it really be safe harbor? Good thing there's a trusty spotter in the crow's nest. Notice how we placed this sailor up near the apex of the lungs or sails? He's a reminder of the type of cancer that forms in the apex of the lung called a pancoast tumor. Because the apex is near so many important structures, tumor invasion can cause a lot of damage, including to the superior cervical ganglion, causing Horner syndrome, as well as damage to the subclavian vessels, the brachial plexus, and even rib, vertebrae, and spinal cord invasion. Just like these sails are strung in front of that heart-shaped wheel, the lungs cover most of the anterior surface of the heart, a good way to remember that penetrating chest wounds will typically hit the lungs before the heart. Well, land might not be far off, but this ship seems kind of dead in the water. Let's harness some wind and follow the path air takes to reach the lungs.